I submitted this bill, um, and I appreciate the opportunity to provide some testimony on it. The objective of the bill is to allow motorists the option of providing proof of automobile insurance with either traditional paper copies, which is currently the only <coughs> mode of proof, or electronically through an application on their smartphone or other uh, application similar to that, um, to at uh, motor vehicle traffic stops and registering their vehicle with Department of DMV. Allowing Connecticut motorists this option will provide a convenience, and rather than having to shuffle through the glove compartment, hoping that there's one copy of the insurance card that may be up to date, or um, five or six of them that are not up to date, they can just pull out their phone and click on the app and have that ready, readily available. Um, so I think for a consumer, it's a lot easier, and I think also for our police officers, it provides a bit of safety as um, the motorist isn't going to their glove compartment, fumbling through it, whereas that could open up op opportunity for them, you know, garnishing a weapon or some other type of um, dangerous apparatus that could put the uh, police in danger. Um, displaying. The proof electronically would also um, would not give permission to view other content on the phone or the or device. So the motorist is protected. That would be written in the um, in the bill such that um, they're prevent they're protected. Uh, it can also be an added convenience to those individuals who currently have um, to print their hard copies off at home, download them, print them off at home. They don't they saves time and paper, and it's beneficial to the environment as well. Um, the uh, searching for insurance cards can become a timely process compared to pulling out your cell phone um, and the efficiency of using the phone app gets officers in and out of a situation quicker which contributes to overall police safety and less time at traffic stops this legislation does not require an individual to use electronic proof of insurance but it gives the person the option so the driver would be well aware of the risk of allowing uh, the device to be handed over to the police and the wording would be included as such that would protect the law enforcement officers from liability of any damage to the device, the, the device as well. Further, uh, by allowing motorists to present electronic proof of insurance, courts would save time by, and, um, and money by not having to deal with tickets, or dealing with having to follow up if the individual did not have their insurance readily available or was not up to date, then you have to go in and you have a certain period of time that you have to provide proof that you do have um, up to date insurance. So I think that would that would benefit um, our court system and the, the ease of the having to um, not go through that process for the consumer. Um, the bill also intends for drivers to have the option to use these electronic methods when registering their motor vehicles. Um, allowing for the electronic registration will also help, help cut down on wait time at DMV lines um, and overall efficiency by the department. And also uh, providing the drivers with the ability to provide electronic proof of the insurance and online registration will help drivers complete the proper forms faster and uh, from the comfort of their home, own homes would streamline the process and make it easier for consumers and the DMV. Um, there are currently, I think, 37 other states now that have some type of similar bill enacted. Uh, we are one of a small minority, and I do believe that it would make sense for all of the states to ha enact this similar bills so that if you're traveling in another state and you get pulled over, you can provide that um, insurance electronically if you have the ability. Um, at, whereas if the state didn't allow for that, then you know, you'd have to fumble through it. You don't know which state you can or can't do it. So I, it would be nice to, be, to see that all states um, uh, bring this to light at some point in the near future.